So Sprint and SoftBank Robotics uh, have joined forces to bring Pepper to the U.S. for our business customers. So Pepper works um, through uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, she can hear someone speaking to her. She can respond to that voice. Um, she also, on the inside, is uh, doing artificial intelligence, which is really what we're interested in uh, for our customers. So, uh, for example, when she's engaging with you, um, she is uh, measuring whether you're a male or a female, uh, general age and uh, mood, so happy, neutral, or sad. Really, really important for um, our business customers to understand, and especially in like a retail environment, uh, where uh, marketers would want to understand who she's engaging with, how they're, uh, they're engaging with her, what types of um, products or promotions that they're listening to, and how they're reacting to those. So we feel there are several vertical customer sets that would really benefit from Pepper. So retail, hospitality, healthcare, education, uh, other applications could include uh, like movie theater chains, uh, car dealerships, those types of businesses really uh, work well with Pepper. Um, so really the sky is the limit. Uh, she comes with Onboard's uh, content management system uh, where the customer can easily put content on her and change that content, or they can do custom applications themselves to fit their business. I think what people really like about Pepper is uh, her humanoid form factor. Uh, a lot of people walk up to her with a smile. They enjoy the, 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 her ability to be able to follow them as they converse with her. The, the fingers look human-like. Uh, one of the first things people do is go to touch the hand of Pepper. So it's really a one-on-one -on -one, uh, human type of interaction, which I think people are drawn to.